I don't know what to do, mom, help me. If I die, this is what happened. This is where it all went wrong. Sometimes I don't want to even take their money. Sometimes, but most of the time I will. Welcome to the Circuit of Americas. I'm here in Texas. I've just arrived from Argentina. This has been the craziest week ever, and I think this is the most ludicrous vlog yet. When me and Aaron arrived yesterday, we need to get mugged, and yeah, it's just been a mad week. So you'll make sure you watch this till the end. Enjoy. Race day here in Argentina, I thought I'd just quickly show you a new upgrade we've had for this weekend. Uh, it's the wheel covers that you see in Moto3. We haven't had them this season, this is the first round we've got them. And I just thought it'd be interesting to show you what they actually look like before they're on the bike. interesting thing to note about the wheel covers is when they're on you can't actually do the tyre pressures so Jenis uh, is just here doing the tyre pressures without the wheel covers on and then they quickly fit them once the pressures have been done they go on the bike and then that's the bike ready to go so this is the wheel cover so it's now Tuesday we've come to La Boca to have a look around here this is football stadium um, we're just going to meet the team, they've got a separate taxi and they'll do some filming once we catch back up with them. That fight's gone to United. Football team, you support that? Oh, huh? Do you support football? Scunthorpe. I, I want to clari <laughs> well. clarify, I don't support Scunthorpe. <laughs> you I, said it now. No, no, I just said it's not quite Scunthorpe. Me and Paul have just been told. What have we just been told, Paul? This is the, uh, the, the barrier. That side of the barrier? Not safe. This side? Safe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Heading back to the hotel now. I'm a little bit wary of this area now because the tax, one of the taxis on the way here said it's dodgy. And then we just went to find another taxi and a bloke said, don't walk down there because it's dangerous. This taxi guy says it's not that dangerous, but you, there might be pickpockets and stuff like that but I don't need two people telling me in an hour that this area is not safe so we're just gonna abort and go back to the hotel but it's cool to see the stadium and in the city it seems pretty safe so far so we're gonna head back there instead You got your washing gear. You have your washing. Sono incazzato nero. You yeah. understand? No. I'm really. I don't know who's the word. I'm full gas. You're full gas. Yeah. It's better I don't speak. Uh, I hope this video don't go to the Instagram or something because uh, I am full gas. <laughs> PS5. PS5. Oh. GS5. <laughs> Sponsored by Nectar Juice Bar. 
So just to recap, we are now in Austin, Texas, and we had a very busy day Tuesday in Buenos Aires, then we got to the airport Tuesday. <laughs> Wednesday, we traveled all day, so didn't actually get to film a lot yesterday. We were in the airport for a long time. The way our flights work, um, we meet the Spanish and Italian mechanics later on. So we had to sit and wait at the airport for them. And then unfortunately the queue for the hire car was about three hours. So I sat in the queue for three hours for the hire car. So there wasn't a lot to film there. We picked the busiest bridge in the world to try yeah. and film an intro. <laughs> because I didn't get to film much yesterday, I thought I'd quickly catch up this morning. The boys can't get to the track until 12 today. I'm sure you've seen all the commotion with flight cases and stuff like that and freight with MotoGP at the minute. So um, there's a bit of a delay getting their cases today. So this morning, I got up early. I've got Aaron here now, the team videographer, and Bush. he's gonna help me Bush. We're here in the Lone Star State. Trump, let's make America great again. Woo! <laughs> he's gonna help me with my filming. So it means I can get a lot more stuff this morning quickly before we head to the track, and then we'll unpack the flight cases and you can see the boys getting ready. Me and Aaron thought we'd be uh, well, we thought American people are generally very friendly and helpful, so we thought we'd ask locals on what to do. So far, we've asked one guy, one guy who was 100% high, didn't know where he was. He, he also taught us what to do when you see a when you see a landmark. He said you need to visit the Capitol State Building, and when you get there, well, you, well, it's the way you, you explained just, it. You just stand there just, and look at it. <laughs> so we've got that to do in a minute. Oh, we asked another couple who were also useless so we've kind of given up with locals we're just going to do it ourselves we went off google we've got a bridge where bats come out at night which isn't very helpful now we'll have to come back another time and do that there's the capital state building a slogan that's used in austin a lot is keep austin weird and so far we're finding that so i'm sure we'll find some other weird and wonderful things to look at too So over here is the Congress Avenue Bridge and at night time the, well, the receptionist said there was millions of bats. I'm not sure if there is millions or if there's just a lot of bats. Uh, but a lot of bats appear here at night. We'll come back later. Probably won't have time tonight because the team will be um, getting set up later on into the evening. But Friday, Saturday or even Sunday night we're still here so we can probably shoot there and have a look at that later on in the week. <laughs> You can, can hear, hear them. them all in the... No, I'm sure you can hear it on the camera. We have seen loads and loads of flies on the way here, so I imagine that's why they're all living here. But they must be living in these cracks of the uh, bridge. This is life on the road. I've just got a text that we're missing a pass from the weekend, so now I'm trying to find the pass. <laughs> I'm panicking now, I'm going to lose my job. <laughs> Get an insta shot. <laughs> While we're stood at the traffic lights, I think you all saw last week in Argentina the chaos that happened with the flight cases. So it's actually never happened before. I think there's been 499 Grand Prix and they've never had flight cases not arrive on time. And then by pure freak chance, it's happened again this week. So the MotoGP cases are slightly delayed, which has delayed our cases. So these boxes that arrive with the whole team's kit in, obviously you can't do anything until they arrive. So they arrive at 12 today, um, and that's why we've got a little bit of free time this morning until we need to head to the track. And they've stopped everyone coming into the track until then. It's a long waffly story about nothing really, but I just thought I'd let you know because it's on my mind. <laughs> That, like, recording. Yeah, it's recording, mate. Ride on the beat, look, paper. Trying to make dope flows for all these haters, look. Nothing in my pocket, but I ain't stopping. Give me a little time, I'ma have your head rocking. Ain't about no money, ain't about the cars. I'm chasing my dreams, shooting for the stars. I threw on my crown, but God come first. I'm accomplished something before I'm riding in a hearse. Need to get my ducks in a row. Yeah, that's it. 
I go by King. I'm the real rose man because I walk up to a, to a couple and be like, "Sir, you wanna you wanna get your woman a rose?" And then they'll be like, "No, no, no." But some of them say yes. But the ones that be like, "No, no, no," I, I I just give their woman a rose. Like you know what I'm saying? But not you know what I'm saying. I don't, I, I I wouldn't try to sell a woman a rose unless she just offered to give me money. You know? Sometimes I don't want to take their money. Sometimes, but most of the time I will. <laughs> <laughs> How old are you? Comedian King Caleb is KKK because it's comedian with a K, King with a K, Caleb with a K. I'm 25 and them scrimmages is going to be saying I'm for real. I'm going to redefine that. Get this on recording. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Don't, no, 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 no. Cut this because I'm about to, and I'm not incriminating right, myself. Right. So, so, so I can't perform at Speakeasy because, um, and, uh, I just had a bird scooter that someone left on and I just came in. <clears throat> Part right by that. And just got the whole jar and left. I'm genuinely panicking. That guy thought it was being nice to give him $10. Yeah. Yeah. And he started going mad. And he's like, What do you think I'm only worth $10? He, he flipping wrapped crabs off for 30 seconds. And uh, so we panicked and coming here because he wouldn't leave us alone. Going for a refuge in a liquor store. The guy on the till is like, You're alright, so we've. But now I don't know because now we're penned in here and he's sat outside and he's got transport, he's got a bicycle and I've got to dodge the leg and I can't run that fast. I don't know what to do now. He's not a nice guy. I thought he was a nice guy and he's not. He turned quite violent once the uh, camera turned off. So I don't know what to do. Mom, help me. If I die, this is what happened. This is where it all went wrong. So, <laughs> after hiding in the shop, what happened then was we were walking down the street and a guy said to us, he said, have you got any dollars? And I said, sorry, I don't have any dollars. And he said, turn your camera on, I'll uh, rap for you. So I thought, oh great, this would be interesting for the vlog, it'd be a nice rap. So he rapped for us. Obviously he then wanted money, which was fine. So I got $10, gave him $10. He went, do you think that's all that, <laughs> that was worth? And I went, well, yeah, it was crap. <laughs> I didn't say it was crap. Then he asked for me to change it for $20. I said, sorry, I really don't have any money. I said, I've only got a card. And he said, there's a cash point here. I'll come with you to the cash point. So I said, I'm really sorry, I, I don't have any more money. And then he said, you're gonna make millions off this video. So at this point we started panicking and we didn't really know what to do because he was getting quite angry and aggressive. So we ran, in, ran into that shop and he followed us in. So then we stopped in the shop. Luckily, previous to that, he'd explained how he robbed a tip jar in the building next door and the bike that he was riding was also stolen and you should be wary riding electric bikes in this town because he will steal them and max your card out. It was at this point we realised he wasn't a very nice guy. All I wanted was a nice story about his life but we didn't get that. Luckily for us, when he walked in the shop, he was also banned from that shop and they kicked him out but then he sat outside waiting for us for five minutes so we called an Uber, panicked, got an Uber <laughs> and ran here. So now we're at the Texas State Capitol building and we'll go around here instead. So for people that don't know what the Texas State Capitol building is, like myself, I've just Wikipedia'd it for you. The Texas State Capitol building is the capital and seat of government of the American state of Texas. It's located in downtown Austin. The structure houses the offices and chambers of the Tex Texas legislator, legislator, and of the governor of Texas. It was designed in 1881 and was constructed in 1882 to 1888. That's mad. That was built in 1882. It's actually all happened this morning as well. We didn't film this because I felt sorry for the poor girl, but some 20 year old, maybe 25 year old girl collapsed in front of us when we were walking. And then we went to help her up and I think she was having a panic attack and she didn't want help, but she was also panicking and couldn't breathe. So we've had it all this morning. My heart rate, I've just checked my watch, went to 111 earlier when that guy was chasing us. So uh, I think we need to go get a coffee or something and just have a sit down for a bit and relax. Everything out of your pockets, bags up here, the camera in the container. 
It feels dusty, I can't want to sneeze. Are you feeling that? I can feel it in my throat. Yeah. It smells old. Do you see what's in the state treasury? Some barbecue smokehouse. Yeah. Just in case anyone ever comes to the Texas State Capitol building and you wonder why there's no food on the north side, we've just been told inside that everything is on the south side of the building. Unfortunately, our Mexican taxi driver didn't understand my broken Spanish and he dropped us in the middle of a industrial estate. Industrial estate, basically. So now we're going to try the south side and see if we can find anything to eat. Good shot. You gotta get. <laughs> I can't do his accent. Wait, you'll be able to do his accent. You yeah. do it. Go on. <laughs> you want a good shot? Here's a good shot. You see that torch? It lines up with the Capitol building right up there. You see that? <laughs> Googling El Arroyo. It says permanently closed. We just had a recommendation from a English person. The first, <laughs> first helpful person here. She's not posh, but she's from the Cotswolds, and her accent is completely gone. You can't actually <laughs> tell it. She's, she's not posh, 100% not posh. This is my friend Antonio. I don't know if you know. He, he's Italian. If you want to head to El Arroyo, it's Tex-Mex. don't know if you've heard of it. It's Tex-Mex. That means Texan and Mexican. Thanks for the heads up, Julia. <laughs> don't need an episode of Mandy, please. <laughs> what have we got? We got some brisket here and some ribs, <sighs> mac and cheese. Taste test. Happy Bosh. That's a happy man right there. <laughs> So we're just quickly doing a track walk. Aaron's just catching his breath because this is Turn 1, the famous Turn 1 hill at Circuit of Americas and the TV doesn't do it justice at all. We're all out of breath just walking up here and yeah, we're, you can see why the brakes are late into here now. It's quite bumpy when you get in here. I'm doing a track guide here on a track I've never been to in my life before but it's just my first experience of it. But yeah, the first thing we notice is how steep it is up here and I can see why everyone can do some big dive bomb passes in there, so. Cardiac right. hill. Cardiac hill, Turn we'll carry one. on. See how tight this is, I've never seen a corner so tight. It's probably, clear from what, four meters across? A bit more than that. It's not green. Getting tucked in, Taylor. Track walks, this is the main reason you do it to try and find little things like this you don't see on the TV. Uh, this is all the bit that's meant to have been resurfaced, but the few you can see here where I presume cars have been grounding out. So you have a look when then when you're on the bike, things like that don't surprise you. We're in the last sector now, the first part of the track's the big fast flowing open part and then we come round to here and it all tightens up so this is an important part in the last part of the race, there's a lot of last lap moves happen here um, and 
and that's tight heaven here. Taz will really love me saying that he took the front there in the Red Bull Rookie Race and uh, crashed out of second place in his only time here. And now we're going to head round to the last um, sector and back into the pit lane. Thanks for watching, make sure you check out my other vlogs in the link above and I'll see you in the next one.